Hello, today I'd like to walk you through a few of the enhancements that we put into the JD Edwards Enterprise ONE Tools Release 9.1.2. This first demonstration is going to focus on a feature that we have in the system called the Related Information Application Framework. And to demonstrate some of the enhancements we put into this framework, I'm going to go ahead and drill into one of our standard address book applications. This application is going to show me information related with the customer, all of its business information, but then I'm also going to want to add in some additional external web content, such as a map or maybe some business intelligence to get, can give me a full picture of this customer. So the first thing I'll show you is that we now have a couple of different icons out here for some quick links out to either URLs or the Oracle Business Intelligence applications. So I can add that content either through these web links or through the little plus green button over on the side of the page. So in this case, let's go ahead and we'll select on the HTTP link. Um, previously, when a customer or a user was setting up this type of application, they had to type in some information and also know the URL that they were going to link into and bring the web content in. One of the enhancements we've made with 9.1.2 is the ability for an administrator to set up some templates that are going to be common for end users to use. So you can see in this case I've set up something for UPS, some wiki information, maybe you want to put out a weather map, whatever. In this case, we'll take a look at some common mapping solutions that we have out there. Now, in order to be able to link to this URL that was added in through that template, I've got to be able to map information from the base application into there. And in this case, I'm going to open up one of the parameters that was available into URL and put it into a mapping mode. So one of the enhancements in Tools 9.1.2 is that you can now map to multiple fields within the Enterprise ONE app. So in order to get a true, distinct mapping to this customer's location, I need to put in the address book information, the address line, the city, the postal code, and the country code. And you can see that, that was all concatenated down here in this line. It's going to feed into that parameter with a predefined separator between those values. So now if I save this, you'll see the map render in the space underneath, and I'll have a very distinct location now to the customer information within the application. If I want to take a look at another customer and show how dynamically this can change between different records, I can go ahead and click the next button, and you can see that this next customer is located in Germany. It automatically loaded the information down here and dynamically changed it to the exact. Next thing I'll show you is not only be, um, you know, another enhancement beyond what we did with the mapping, but also the ability to bring in business intelligence directly into the application. So in this case, I may want to take a look at the accounts payable information associated with this customer. And what I can do is I can go off and I can launch the OBIE control, which is the Oracle Business Intelligence Solution. And it comes up with a link with all the different reports within that solution that I have availability to. So I can come through here and I say, I want to see some of the financial information associated with this customer. Let me drill into the payables information. Maybe I want to take a look at all their payables transactions, and what I can do is either link to a dashboard or an Oracle Answers report. In this case, it's Oracle Answers. And I can go ahead and click on the sample report coming from the Business Intelligence Engine. I can see that there's transactional details here. I can save that. And since this is an Answers report, it has filters that can be passed into it. So in this case, I'm going to actually add in that I want the company name in that report to be named the alpha name of this application. When I hit save on here, you can see that now it comes up with the transactional information for Vision Germany. As before, if I link into something else, I'm going to go look at Vision's Netherland, it dynamically changes on the bottom. So here's a couple of the changes that we made with the related application framework within the Tools 9.1.2 release. Thank you for your time.